Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario and today we're going to make a chaffle burger with bacon and cheese. And it's going to have ketchup. Keto friendly ketchup that is. Stick around. Okay, since the burger takes 14 to 18 minutes to cook, depending how you like to cook it, I'm going to start with that first. So let's move this aside. Take out the FI tray. Now I like using this rack here because it allows more airflow everywhere. And plus, the bacon takes half as much time to cook as the burger. So once I go to flip the burger, I'm going to put the bacon underneath so that can cook. So, simple enough. These are Bubba Burgers. I don't have any defrosted meat, so I'm not making my own. So let's get this in the air fryer. 370. Um, it defaults to 15 minutes. I'm just going to set a reminder for about... Uh, 10 minutes to remember to flip it. I did preheat this a little bit so we can hurry this along. Hit the start button. Okay, next we're gonna start the chaffle. This is gonna be just the basic chaffle, not like I did the other day. So we're just gonna take one large egg. Uh, beat this up a little bit. I'm so used to putting salt in my egg, I gotta remember not to. Now, it also requires a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. Now, this is really heaping. I had to pack it down because I went by weight. And if you look, every quarter cup is 30 grams. This is 60 grams because it's a half a cup, but uh, it fits more comfortably in a two-third cup. So uh, if you're going to use measuring cups, you're going to have to go heaping with this. Now, some people do add baking powder. I'm not going to add it this time around because this is the chaffle in its simplest form just to show you how simple it is. We'll put our half a cup of cheese in there, and we're just going to start to mix that around picked up some extra ingredients for my chaffles because I'm going to be making uh, different types. I'm going to be making uh, peanut butter chaffles and the cinnamon toast you already saw as well as some other ones that are going to be really good. Now last time I made this it overflowed a little bit but that is also because I added some of the powder in here which gave it a little bit more. So we're going to try to go and split this batch in half and still make two chaffles and hope that they don't uh, overwhelm the waffle maker. Here we go right here and I always say don't put anything on your oven but my oven's off I'm the only one here so I'm in control now I did preheat this the light is out right now um, Pam does a much better job at non-stick but that's not what I'm going to use I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil I do not have any avocado oil but the chaffle tends to stick around the edge here so let's see if I can't do a better job than last time I'll spread this around a little bit to keep it from doing its own thing a little bit more alrighty and this is going to need about four to six minutes to cook okay let's take a look at this not bad so let's take this one out it's cooked and it's hot and let's cook the other one now it did not rise as much because I usually use the baking powder so that's a definite thing did not rise as much. There we go. Be another four to six minutes here. And then we got our buns, we shall say. All right, this has been going for nine minutes. Let's take a look. All right, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna make a little bit of a mess here, possibly. Let's see if I can't move the burger over. I'm gonna flip it first. Ideally, I want to put the bacon on top. I just don't know if there's enough room. Let's see if we can make it work. This is uh, BJ's thick bacon. There is two slices cut in half. And already I can see I'm going to have issues, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to push the burger off to the edge a little bit more. Realign my bacon. And let's get this back in the air fryer. And this has about six minutes left on the timer. Let's see if that's enough to cook the bacon as it is. Okay, let's take a look at this one. And this, I think, looks done as well. Yep, we're good. Make sure I unplug the waffle iron, folks. And here are our two chaffles. Now, I've never had it play super plain like this, so it'll be interesting if it tastes eggy or not, but I'm hoping with the combination of the burger, it's not gonna be noticed. Also, these buns, I'm hoping they're just big enough, or these chaffle buns are just big enough to fit my burger on. Okay, it's been 13 minutes. Let's just take a quick look for the sake of the bacon. 
Okay, not bad. We're gonna flip this bacon. The bacon probably could have went in there earlier. I've been cooking the thinner bacon lately because BJ's hasn't had the thicker bacon for a while. So uh, I think this burger is done. So what I'm gonna have to do is take it out, finish cooking the bacon, and then when the bacon's done, put the burger back in to melt the cheese on the burger. And now we can spread out the bacon more, which should aid in this thing cooking faster. And I can also kick up the temperature to 400 because the Bubba Burgers, they say cook it, I think, 360, 370. Okay, we're gonna hit the pause button, hit this up to 400, and kick it up for another minute or two. And don't forget to resume, otherwise it ain't gonna cook. That's the one thing I don't like about this newer Gen Air Fryer, is that pause button. I haven't found a good use for it yet. So, half time. Uh, just an update on where I sit. Uh, this morning, 163.6 pounds. I, I couldn't have imagined that since January 15th. That's 80.8 pounds down. Last week, I thought I hit a pretty good low of 165.4, and um, much better this time around. I expected I wasn't going to catch up to anything, not catch up that I put on my burger. But the fact of the matter is, last week being my 50th birthday, my wife threw me a nice surprise. Um, I was up four pounds. And uh, so I thought it was going to take me a few days or even a week to recover from it. But I am 1.8 pounds down from last week. And I'm not starving myself by any means. I'm not snacking. Sometimes I wish a little extra. Plus I had ice cream last night. Plus I made homemade ice cream last night, keto ice cream. So uh, also everything I use, links are in the description. So if you want to see what I'm using, you'll find it goes to the main page and you'll see what I use for kitchen appliances, uh, some of the keto stuff. Okay, another two minutes has gone by. Let's take a look. All right, I think that bacon is good, not overly crispy. So let's get those out of there. And we are going to put the hamburger back in. Now, I have a really nice piece of uh, mozzarella cheese from the deli. It's about one and a quarter ounces. It's a little big for that, but we're gonna put it back in the air fryer, but not turn on the air fryer just so it melts. Okay, we're just gonna let it sit here for a minute or two so that it can uh, melt that cheese. Okay, we're gonna pull this out, but also we're gonna unplug the air fryer. Okay, that looks good. So we're gonna set this aside for a second. We're gonna take out our Chaffle buns, or just chaffles, but for me they're buns. Now, I myself like to put mustard on the bottom of my burger bun, because if you put ketchup and mustard in the same area, it just overflows, and that doesn't work for me. And we are going to take the cheeseburger, sit that on top, look how awesome that looks. Now, next step for me here, this is very important, folks, is I got two different kinds of ketchups. I have Heinz tomato ketchup, no sugar added. It's got one carb per serving, which is a tablespoon, I believe. And then we got this primal ketchup. And this is better for you, but it has two carbs per tablespoon. And the reason being is the Heinz puts sucrose in theirs. So sucrose, you know, is an artificial sweetener and some people are really against it. If you don't care about that, go with the Heinz. It's cheaper and it's got half the carbs, but I'm going to splurge a little bit. This one tablespoon of ketchup is going to have more carbs in it than everything else combined in this thing. Ah, fresh and new. Try not to put too much on there. That's a little bit more than a tablespoon, maybe a, a heaping tablespoon. Now, next thing, bacon. We'll use the bacon to spread that around a little bit. Probably could have used a little more ketchup, but that's okay. Now, as usual, there's one piece of bacon left, so you know what we do with that. I tell you, the BJ stick bacon is extra salty and it tastes really nice. So the next thing, we got our lettuce. Usually these days, lettuce for me is uh, the bun for the burger, but not today, folks. So we got that. And one thing left, you can't forget the pickles. Now this thing's getting monstrous. I didn't have the... Uh, thin sliced pickles. I just had the, the spheres because that's all they had. Well, they had the uh, ones I wanted, but they were um, not the kind of pickles I like. These are the deli pickles and they're good. Mm. 
Actually, I lied. The pickles. I probably put about a carb or so worth of pickles on here. I want to bring you on my level with this burger. You got the bottom chaffle, you got the mustard, you got the burger, you got the nice mozzarella cheese, you got the bacon, you got the lettuce, you got the pickles. Some people put onions or uh, something to that effect, but that just adds to the carbs and I'm not a big fan of uh, uncooked onions. So what do we have left? Put the top on this and eat it and maybe cut it too. Let's get this on there. And I think I will cut it. I never cut burgers. I never cut any sandwiches, really. But we're going to make an exception here, just so we can look at the inside. Ho, 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 ho. Oh. Little bit of a fix we need to do here, but that's okay. Really need those thin sliced pickles for this thing to stay together. There we go. All right, let's taste this bad boy. All right. See if we can't zoom this in here. Here we go. Now I've never made this before, so I'm not sure what to expect with the chaffle, especially it being a plain chaffle. And I have to do some sorcery here to keep this together. I don't have I only have two hands, I don't have something to hold the plate underneath me, so I might make a mess. Now, I always like the toasted bun if I can get it. And with the chaffle, it's warm, it has some crisp to it, so to me, it's just like a bun. Donna is going to be so upset that she wasn't here for this. I'm loving this. Let me stop chewing for a second long enough to say some things here. These days when I have burgers, it's just either just in a plate or on a piece of lettuce as a bun. <clears throat> like I went to Muya, overly priced, and it wasn't fantastic. So it's just like lettuce, burger, pickles, more lettuce, and mustard. But here I got everything I always eat. You got the chaffle buns that are warm and crisp. You got the burger, you got the cheese, you got the bacon, you got the lettuce, you got the pickles, you got the mustard, and you get the ketchup. Excuse me one more second. And I don't taste any egginess of the chaffle. And if I had it plain, just the chaffle and ate it like that, I might taste more egg. But with all the other flavors in there that I know and love, I need to grab my water. Okay, I'm happy now. So, that was awesome. Um, someone said chaffles were a game changer, and then you know, you go the haha, -ha, whatever, it's a game changer because it just opens up a lot of things. I've been, you know, using this for sandwiches and stuff like that now, and it's perfect for a burger bun. And if you have, can set this all up so you're cooking everything at once so you can get that warm crisp chaffle for your bread that's great you know when i made the bacon sausage egg and cheese breakfast sandwich that's awesome working on the breakfast bowls and now i'll be making peanut butter waffles uh, you have a choice you can use organic peanut butter and i have some bj's organic which the only ingredients are 
peanuts and salt that's it but I bought the powder for the extra protein because if I limit myself to one meal sometimes I can't get my protein levels up high enough so I bought some peanut butter powder I had a choice of a couple in the end I went with the protein peanut butter powder so that will be the next video you see uh, anyway if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing hit the notification bell so you know when I put out a new video I'll see you on the next one thanks a lot don't forget to unplug the air fryer folks and that mini waffle maker I'll see you on the next one thanks a lot Last pickle. I'm already hot, stuffed. I'm already stuffed. And this was my only meal today. Early dinner, four o'clock. thought about it being my only dinner I would have put more ketchup on it I think because I'll have like four carbs today and I could have up to 20 oh and up at one of these corners I will put the macros for this burger which will consist of calories fat Protein and carbs. Gotta know. I didn't figure it out beforehand. So, what are you waiting for? Well, get yourself a mini waffle maker if you don't have one. Perfect size.